Furthermore, we have reason to believe that Mr. Wiki has been intimidating and harassing political opponents, stifling free speech and freedom, press freedom in the process. This is a clear violation of the fundamental human rights enshrined in relevant section of our constitution. As concerned citizens, we cannot sit back and watch as our hard-earned resources paid to the FCT in various forms of taxes and levies are being mismanaged and wasted by corrupt officials like Wike. We call on the relevant anti craft agencies to conduct a thorough investigation into these allegations. We also all urge all residents of the SCT to join us in this fight against corruption. We must hold our public officers accountable and demand transparency and accountability in the management of public resources. We must ensure that our government institutions are working for the benefit of all citizens, not just a few selected people. Thank you for your attention. And I hope that together we can work towards building a better Nigeria. Gentlemen of the press, contrary to the law and spirit of administering the Federal Capital Authority, Mr. Winky has engaged in another disturbing trend. He has been engaging in discriminatory practices in the allocation of land and employment opportunities. This is a, in public purview. Mwike has focused on his G5 governors as the beneficiaries of land allocations since he came into office, with other exceptions being people from his ethnic stock in the Niger Delta. His written allocation of land to some members of the River State House of Assembly is clear evidence of this, which implies he is using FCT's land as political tool to service his followers in River State, instead of servicing the interests of the masses, and especially the citizens of the land. This is a clear violation of the principles of fairness, equity, and justice that should guide the allocation of national resources. We believe that this kind of discriminatory behavior is unacceptable in a country that is striving to build a cohesive and exclusive society. It creates division and undermines national unity. It also sends a wrong message to the international community about our commitment to democracy and the rule of law. As concerned citizens, we call on the relevant authorities to investigate the allegations and to take appropriate action to address this issue. We also call on all Nigerians to reject any form of discrimination and to work toward building a society that is based on the principle of justice, fairness, and equality. We believe that every Nigerian, regardless of their ethnic background or religion or origin, has the right, equal, has the right to equal access to land, and employment opportunities. We will not remain silent while the rights of our fellow citizens are being trampled upon by those in positions of power. We urge all Nigerians to stand together in this fight against discrimination and to work towards building a better and more inclusive Nigeria. Gentlemen and of the press. The abuse of office by public officials is a deeply concerning issue that undermines the trust citizens have in government institutions. It is with this in mind that we also condemn in the strongest terms the actions of the Minister of the Federal Capital. As the Minister of the Federal Capital in Nigeria, who has been engaged in cross abuse of his office. There are credible reports that Mwike has been using his position to intimidate and harass political opponents 
as well as enrich himself and his cronies. The report we have, we have received in this regard suggests that Mwike has engaged in several highly questionable activities, including awarding contracts to companies owned by his friends and family members and using public funds to finance his lifestyle. This kind of behavior is a fragrant violation of the trust citizens have placed in him as a public office holder, and it must be condemned in the strongest possible terms. We have perfected the removal of the SUT administration from the Treasury Single Account TSA to have an unfettered access to funds under the guise of paying the same contractors. This is very unfortunate. Consequently, we again call on President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to conduct a thorough investigation into these allegations and to take appropriate action against VK if they are found to be true. We also call on all citizens to remain vigilant and to speak out whenever they see public officials abusing power, their power, or engaging in corrupt activities. We believe that it is only by holding public officials accountable for their action that we can begin to restore the trust and confidence that citizens have in government institutions. We urge all Nigerians to join us in this effort and to work towards building a society that is based on transparency, accountability, and respect, regard for the rule of law. These worrisome tendencies of Nyo Somwike as a minister of the FFCT have, of course, been made possible and enabled by how he discards administrative procedures, chiefly in the way he has uttermost regard for the civil servants who have the statutory, statutory responsibility of day-to-day -day implementation of government policies. Wiki has made himself the policy formulator and implementer in one breath. This has caused serious concern among civil servants who work in the ministry. The report that Wiki has been undermining the authority of civil servants who are meant to administer the ministry demand our attention because Civil servants are the backbone of any government, of government institution, and they play a critical role in ensuring that government policies and programs are implemented effectively. However, their work is often overlooked, and they are frequently subjected to political interference and undue pressure from political appointees. In the case of the Federal Capital Territory, Mwisanye Sonwike's actions are clear examples of political interference in the work of civil servants. This has been manifesting in Wike's by passing established procedures and protocols and making decisions that are not based on merit or established guidelines. This kind of behavior undermines the morale of civil servants and erodes their confidence in the institution they work for. It also sent a message that political patronage is more important than merit and hard work, which is a dangerous precedent to set. As concerned citizens, we appeal to Mr. President to take appropriate action to address this issue, while also calling on Wiki to respect the authority of civil servants and to work with them collaboratively and respectfully. We believe that the work of civil servants should be recognized and appreciated, and that they should be allowed to carry out their duties without undue interference or pressure. Gentlemen of the press, we urge all FCT residents and with civil servants and support their efforts to build a better and more efficient government that works for the benefit of all of us. We condemn the action of Mr. Nelson Wike and call on him to respect the authority of civil servants. We also urge all Nigerians to support civil servants in their 
important work and to demand transparency and accountability in the management of the Federal Capital Territory. Finally, when Wike is busy enriching himself and his associates, Abuja has fallen into disrepute as the national capital and has become an expensive slum. In violation of transport policy, long established by his predecessors, the city is now overwhelmed by commercial motorcyclists and tricyclists that have even that even go as far as driving one against that has even gone as far as driving one way against traffic, like the errant car drivers that have modeled their disregard for rules after the example shown by the minister as someone who has no respect for the law. We invite President Bola Ahmed Tunubu to note this as incompetence on the part of the minister and confirmation of his inability to manage the federal capital territory. Even though we had in the unforgoing urge Mr. President to call Nelson Wike to order and to also investigate his activities, we fear that the damage that has been done to the FCT and by implication the national psyche is too extensive to be allowed to continue even for additional weeks. We, therefore, demand that President Bola Ametudubu must immediately replace Mike as Minister of FCT for the general interest and should Minister President insist on keeping someone like this, like his kind of tendencies in his cabinet, then he should be assigned any other portfolio but the FCT minister. Mr. Wike is not good for FCT ministership, and he should be assigned to another ministry. That is our stand. 